Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about different types of radioactive decay. So, before we do that, just want to go over a couple of vocabulary terms. Um, we're going to be talking about the ionizing power and the penetrating power of these different types of radiation. So the ionizing power is that radiation's ability to damage molecules, specifically to pull electrons off of them. So anything that has high ionizing power is very damaging. And then penetrating power is the ability of any type of radiation to pass through matter, so how much it can go through stuff. Okay, now we're gonna make a big chart and we're gonna fill in some information about different types of uh, radioactivity. So this chart is going to need to have eight columns. So I'm gonna kind of split my page in half and then I'm gonna split each of those in half. So I've got four and then we'll split each of those in half. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and on the top here, we're gonna title, this one is gonna be particle. This is gonna be symbol. This is gonna be identity. Mass is right here charge, penetrating power, ionizing power, and shielding. Okay, so the types of radiation we're going to talk about are alpha particles, oh, Sorry, I didn't want to write the symbol, I want to write the word. Alpha, um, beta, positron emission, which is actually a type of beta decay, and gamma radiation. Okay, so there's symbols for each of these types of radiation, and they're Greek symbols. So the symbol for alpha is that, beta, is looks like that and sometimes it's written with a little minus um, a positron looks like beta but it has a positive instead of a negative and gamma that is the Greek letter gamma okay an alpha particle is a helium nucleus so you remember in Rutherford's gold foil experiment he was shooting alpha particles uh, at the gold foil an alpha particle is a helium nucleus, which is just two protons and two neutrons together. Um, a beta particle is really similar to an electron. Now a positron is kind of like an electron, but positive instead of negative. Hence, it's called a positron. And a gamma ray is just energy. So, a helium nucleus has a mass of 4 AMU. A beta particle, since it's an electron, its mass is approximately 1 2,000th of an AMU. Same thing with the positron. And since gamma is just energy, it doesn't have a mass. Charge, alpha particles have a charge of positive 2. Beta is going to have a charge of negative 1 because it's like an electron. Positron would be a positive one. Gamma does not have a charge. Um, penetrating power. So alpha particles are pretty big, so that means they cannot penetrate things very well. They don't go through things. So penetrating power is low. Um, for beta, it's medium. Um, positrons get a little bit complicated with some of this stuff, so I'm not going to worry about having you know these things for positrons, but if you want to talk to me 
I can tell you more about that. Gamma rays are very penetrating. They can go through a lot of things. Okay, ionizing power. This is how much it can damage things like your cells. Um, alpha is very ionizing. It can be very damaging, so high ionizing power. Beta is kind of in the middle. And gamma is not as ionizing as these other types of radiation, but you still don't want to be exposed to it. Um, okay, shielding. So this is what will block this type of radiation. So alpha is blocked by paper or skin, so it can't get through your skin. Although if you breathe it in, it can get into your body. Um, beta is not blocked by paper or skin, but it is blocked by things like wood or aluminum. And then to block gamma, you need things like lead, like thick pieces of lead too, like a couple inches of lead. Okay, so those are the different types of radiation. You need to know about those. Um, I want to show you some nuclear equations of what these different types of decay look like. So alpha decay, an example of that would be, here's polonium-210, and if you see one element breaking into helium and another element, so in this case um, lead, that's alpha decay because a helium nucleus is an alpha particle. So that's what alpha decay looks like. Beta decay is going to look something like this. This is what carbon-14 does. So here's carbon. And then you can either see like the beta symbol or sometimes people will put an electron, E for electron, because a beta particle is like an electron. So if you see something with a negative um, particle that's got zero, like a mass number of zero, but a charge of negative one, Okay, sorry that video cut off. So the other two types of decay that you need to be able to recognize are positron emission. The difference between a beta decay and positron emission is that you're going to have a negative one charge down here if it's beta, but a positive one charge down here if it's positron emission. But the symbol will look the same. And then gamma, you're going to see um, a gamma particle or a gamma ray, I guess, not a particle, with zero mass and zero charge, all of these will be on the right side of the equation. So on the right side of the equation, you want to look for either an alpha particle or a beta or positron or gamma ray. Okay, now the other thing that I want to show you in your textbook uh, is this chart, which we've been looking at already. It's on page 53. So you need to be able to look at this chart and predict what type of um, decay an isotope is going to do. So if you have some crayons or something, it would be good to get those out. We're going to color this in a little bit. Um, so this top section above the black line, I'm going to color that part blue. And then the blue corresponds with the B negative down there, which is beta decay. So blue is beta decay. Okay, at the bottom, underneath the black line, I'm going to color that orange. I'm not doing a super good job of coloring here, but it works. So orange is that top uh, symbol, and that's positron emission. So things above the line are going to do beta decay. Things below are going to do positron emission. And then this lighter gray color that's kind of here and a little bit right there and up here. It's a little kind of messy, but that yellow is alpha. So only heavier elements will do alpha decay. Okay, and what you need to be able to do is, let's say I give you an isotope. So for example, um, let me think of an example here. Let's say I give you nickel, um, 78. Okay, so 
So we need to figure out what type of decay nickel 78 would do. Well, nickel's got 28 protons. And then 78 minus 28 is going to be 50 neutrons. So if I find 28 protons, here's 28 protons. 50 neutrons is right here. That's in the blue. Blue is beta decay. So nickel 78 would do beta decay. And that's how you can read this chart. So I would recommend coloring it so you can see the different parts. And hopefully that all makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions.